Hello, an outstanding podcast host opens hearts and minds and launches world-changing conversations. Now, the podcast host I am here to honor is not just any host. This host is a Yale Law School graduate, first lady of Arkansas, first lady of the United States, first female senator from New York, secretary of state, and first woman to run for president for a major political party. Who could it be? There's so many people. Last year, I had the immense pleasure to be invited onto You and Me Both with Hillary Clinton. The night before the podcast, I was so nervous that I didn't sleep. So the morning of the podcast, I drank five mugs of coffee and my wife woke up to a poster in our bedroom that said, it's Hillary Clinton day. I was so excited because HRC, and I was so grateful because after the 2016 election, I vowed that if I ever got a chance to speak with her, I would apologize directly and personally for not showing up the way I should have in that election for taking so much for granted, for not fighting like our lives were on the line as she knew they were and told us they were. And I'd promise her that from here on out, I would fight like hell. And I actually got to tell her all of that on our episode because she was so open and so curious and so kind and as always so freaking brilliant. As she does with every space she's created, Secretary Hillary Rodham Clinton has turned the digital platform of you and me both with Hillary Clinton into a place that offers a voice of clarity and wisdom and sanity and hope. It's hard to think now, Kamala, but your mother had to have been aware as she was doing her research into breast cancer that until the 1980s, experiments for breast cancer were not even performed on women. Oh, it was profound. I'll never forget. Maya and I, we were what you call latchkey kids, right? We'd come home after school and and my mother would come home hours later. But when we came home after school, there were always fresh baked cookies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, wow. But we were never allowed to eat dinner until after Walter Cronkite. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good rule. Oh, I yeah. like that rule. That's how it all worked. <laughs> but I remember one night my mother came home and she was all raging mad, raging, raging. Because you see, and to your point, a full mastectomy had been performed on a woman. Now, this is going to be very vivid. So mm-hmm. this maybe should be the disclaimer for the audience. But on a metal tray, someone was just walking around with this woman's breast. Oh. My mother was raging mad Mm -hmm. because it gets to the point about the dignity of women. Right. And what she said, and now this is going to get even more vivid, (laughs) but I'm going to give it to you, Hillary. (laughs) She said, do you think that they would have walked around with a man's, you know what, (laughs) without at least giving it the dignity of putting something over it or doing, right? Right. Oh, I love your mother. Uh, Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I love your mother. And now it is my great honor to present the Gracie Award for Interactive Media Outstanding Entertainment Podcast host to Hillary Rodham Clinton. Thank you so much, Glennon, for that very kind and generous introduction. And I love talking to you anytime, anywhere. And thanks also to the Gracie Awards and the Alliance for Women in Media Foundation for honoring me with this award for Outstanding Entertainment Podcast Host. I have to tell you, I am thrilled to be included alongside this illustrious slate of amazing women who are shaping and changing our media landscape for the good. And I'm particularly thankful for the opportunity that my podcast, You and Me Both, has afforded me to have honest, open, candid, far-ranging, illuminating conversations with people I've long admired and others that I meet for the first time. Because for me, podcasting is about storytelling. 
And stories play an instrumental, foundational role in any society. I really believe every person has a story to tell, and every country has a story that it tells about itself. So much of what animates, inspires, educates, and heals us revolves around good storytelling. You know, I've been lucky in my decades in public life to dive into stories, listening to people tell me about their lives, their hopes, their disappointments, their aspirations. It's wonderful to know that everybody does have a story and those stories through podcasting flourish and spread right into the minds and hearts of listeners across the globe, as Glennon so perfectly put it. You know, there's an old saying that all politics is personal. Well, I think the same is true of podcasting. As a host, I love getting to ask questions for a change instead of just answering them, but also to help foster and amplify new voices and new ideas. And that's what the Gracies and the good work of the Alliance are all about. 70 years ago, a courageous group of women came together to launch this organization with the purpose of connecting women across all segments of the media, from the news to entertainment, from radio to television, and now digital platforms. The Alliance celebrates all women who participate in media, you know, from Names you know to those behind the camera or the microphone, recognizing that, yes, it does take a village to produce anything worthwhile. So let me thank everyone who makes my podcast possible, including all my friends at iHeartRadio, and join all of you in celebrating the extraordinary women who work in every facet of our media universe. Let's keep telling stories. Let's lift up unheard voices and let's support one another because as I like to say, we are stronger together. So thank you all once again for this honor. Let's keep the stories flowing and let's have an opportunity now and far into the future to make sure that everyone's story can be told and Heard. Thanks so much.